Oh man, okay. So now I got I got me a hot dog. And I got me some chicken nuggets. And a coke. And I spent about thirty dollars. Nice. Hundred and twenty for the parking and uh, seventy-five dollars for gas. But you know what? It's not about the money today. This three hundred dollars I spent out of my rent money for parking and food and gas is is for my boy. I gave him a shirt, but he's. Never gonna wear it. He's he thinks it's he thinks it's gonna be hot, but it's a really lightweight microfiber. It's almost like wearing bed sheets, you know, like those those lightweight Star Wars ones you can get, or like um, like if you got a tropical shirt off of Amazon, it's like one of those. It's like really lightweight. So here we go. Going into the going into the sweet life. Oh man. This is like the hottest room. In the world, they gave us the hot room. So, uh, yeah, I was like, where did you go? But you told me you so that. Uh, yeah, I went and got a how much? Forty dollar meal? No. How much is this for chicken? Oh, you got a dog or something too? Good. Hey, look at us. $8.50 and then the coke was six fifty. Cool. But dude, look at all this mustard. I got my money's worth. You might as well get like I made sure I got like fifteen dollars worth of mustard. Can't go wrong. I like the mustard. Can't I'm more wrong. about the mustard than the dough. You know what's you know, actually really weird? As I got older, I fucking noticed that whether it's like a uh, like a Dijon or a fucking uh, a yellow mustard, I was seriously fucking uh, it like makes me like sweat almost sometimes I was like oh yeah that never made it happen all of a sudden I get a bead of sweat and it just like pulls something out of me I'm like what yeah. the fuck it's good for you yeah. it's a good pull so what's your detox? uh huh if you mix the garlic and the mustard
Do I get in that one, Denise? Are you? I think I am. I think I'm in the corner. <laughs> Did I make it? No. Oh my god. They hit it. They hit it. Oh, the guy in the dirty outfit. He's throwing it back in. Yes. Local team. Five out of towners. One. Mm. I finished my hot dog at the same time so that I could try to be invested in the joy everybody was experiencing right now. Mm. I'm going to play a replay of that now. I'm in the suite. I'm up here in this... Up here in this booth. Not the club section. I'm in the... Uh, I'm in the nosebleed air-conditioned box. And I'm watching baseball on TV and eating garlic fries. They charged me $2 to put garlic on them. But, you know. So, who's, who's hitting the ball right now? Oh, we... You got this Wade guy. Oh, oh my God, he hit the ball. <laughs> oh. And the dirty uniform guy caught it. Oh, but he stole a base. We still got somebody to run to the home base from third base. And so... They were able. Boom, he hit the baseball. It went up in the air. Boom, he hits the baseball. Slow motion hits the baseball. Boom, he hits the baseball. Regular motion hits the baseball. Guy's running backward. He catches it, but he just can't throw it in fast enough. They played the wrong replay. They played the replay where they got the guy out instead of the replay of the guy stealing the base. base guys are doing it. Oh. oh man. He golfed that one. That was like golf. It was like Jack Nicholson with a baseball bat. He just chipped that in like he was Tiger Wood. Guess what? Seven to one. Like I said, I might be at a cricket game. Looking out over the field, a couple hundred people here. A lot of civil unrest. Oh, he that one hit the pitcher or hit the catcher in his nuts. That is not how you play, guys. <laughs> Come on. We're doing the Adams family. So, who we got up now? Oh, this guy Brandon's going up. He must be related to Cindy. He 
he grabbed his balls. He's wearing a t-shirt underneath his uh, shirt. It says uh, his team on it. I guess that's in case his jersey falls off. Oh. He hit it. It did not stay. On the end of his bat. He hit it and it flew right the fuck off. Into the stands or something. Hey, bro. What's up? How you liking this game, huh? Subpar. Third and a half floor shit. I mean... Bang, bro. So, so Brandon, Brandon just missed the ball, and now everybody's going to walk back in, and, and then the other team's going to walk out in the cleaner uniform. I'm walking out of this interview right now. Oh, wow. Hey, man. They're really hitting that baseball, huh? They did. I saw that one time. Can I they, take my jacket here? Yeah. They like threw it at him and he like was like, no, not today. And he just hit it like Thanks. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. A hot dog and garlic fries. So Take it down to be like, huh? <laughs> um, the other team has got on. This guy, Willie. eating pinches of garlic now. Yeah, with a little bit of potato. getting his food. He was like telling people, three people ahead of me that they could go. He could move forward. We've got registers ready. So this guy throws it. He hits it. 
goes off, goes off to the side. This guy runs over, it's on the ground, he picks it up, he throws it back, and boom. I thought he was helping that dude out, no, he was trying to tap him with a ball. I got faked a polio injury. <laughs> that guy looks like Chris Teixeira. That's funny. Oh. Yeah, he overacted. He's got skin. He's got really skinny jeans on now. So I can see why he'd be worried about that shit hitting him in the balls. Hit him in the butt that time. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, I never mind. Web, web, web. Man, when he threw that, boom, got him in the leg. This guy, he kind of looks like uh, John Wayne. Guy. He's got a weird stance. He's got like that ready player one. Like, oh, you guys, come on. The guy with the funny stance got, he hit it up good, but. They caught it. And he was doing like a weird little wiggle. Pretty funny. They hit straight up in the air. That's not a good move. I don't even know. You know what I mean? Like I, I played baseball one year. And I know. But that's not a good move. You don't want to hit it straight up because they'll catch it. Higher up you catch it. The higher up you hit it, the more time they have to catch it. Oh, guy. He got, he's got a strike against him. The umpire just gave him a strike against him. I don't know what that means, but... That Chris Teixeira looking guy is strutting around. did like the splits that time. And so, still a little wiggle. Mm. The intense, the intensity is so intense. Gavin. 
else we got going on here? Tenth birthday for Ava from your mom and dad. Eightieth birthday from Ron Smith. Jacoby kids. Grandma had a birthday. Helen Sullivan. You are older. Hell yeah, Hatch Real. Class of 2023, hell yeah. Go Cow Bears. So now we are in the the next section of the game. And this guy's got he's rocking the mullet. The guy throwing the ball. He's also got a dirty jersey on. This guy's got some cool headgear on his helmet. He's got like a, a taco holder. Or a cell phone holder, maybe. Like, why even have any of your face exposed, you know? Throwing the ball, not hitting it. So far, they're just not really hitting the ball. There's just a lot of throwing the ball to each other, stuff like that. So that's pretty interesting stuff, you know. Hmm. This might be a Garbage, I don't This guy, he kind of looks like the guy from, uh, the guy that's throwing the ball for the other team. He looks like he's from, um, the What We Do in the Shadows. Oh, we got Mike. Mike's going to hit the ball. I remember Mike from earlier. He's got a baby face, but man... Baseball guys, they're they're shaped like uh, housewives. A lot of them. They got big butts. They're like like grimace shaped, like low, you know, s slim upper bodies. But like you get down into their butts, they just got these big butts. Mike is no exception. He's got a little tiny head, little tiny nose. His upper body is like <laughs> and then there's that guy. Oh, everybody looks like that on this dirty the dirty team. They all uh, have um, mullets. They're all rocking the mullets. Oh 
Oh, that. So this is like Eva Longoria's brother or something. He's gonna... It says that he's got zero flyouts. Uh, I hope he gets a flyout and hits a home run this time. Jeez, come on, bro. Uh, yeah, he got a grounded it, and he's going to go back in the dugout. And this, this section of the game is almost over. We are already... We are already two-thirds over with this section of the game. So, these guys, they really need to do something else with the ball. They need to stop hitting the ball where people can catch it. It's just, you know, I'm not a pro or anything. But here he goes. He's got the ball. He's spinning. He's doing this weird... Babe the Blue Locks stance. Like, look, look at the gut on this guy. I know that they say the camera adds 10 pounds, but even though I'm right here at the game, it still adds 10 seconds to the movement, too. So I, I, everybody starts booing before I even see why they're booing. But it looks like the uh, one of the mullet guys is like yelling at the other guy that's dressed like a he's on a roller derby team or something. Oh man, all those hand signals. Oh, this is the pitcher. So that, they want to hit the pitcher now. That's right. The pitcher's batting. Let's see if they can hit him. Remember that time you hit your guy in the butt? Hit him in the butt. Should I hit him in the butt? He's, he looks at the second base guy. Should I hit him in the butt? Oh. 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 He hit it all the way out of the game. He hit it out of the field. Great. Now nobody can play with that ball. It's just gone. Everybody's clapping about it. Well, I don't understand why some of these guys are dressed like sea captains. Um, but, yeah. It seems to be good. They, uh, they are really happy. Because that home run brought in one of the guys that was on the base. So now it's 9-1. to one. Okay, so not only did the pitcher make his section of the game really short, but now he just ensured that everybody that was on the base and sitting around got to come home. So, now... And he hit it, man. When he hit it, it went right... went right... Right out the out the fence. Huh. Everybody's pointing now, and everybody's <laughs> gotta breathe. Don't forget to breathe, folks. All of this excitement. I'm glad to be here with you. With the uh, Wake and Bake podcast, <laughs> giving you the play by play on this very important game for these two teams. That are out here hitting the ball and running around in circles. I know, yeah, they're running in a square and they call it a diamond, but really it's a circle. It's a just a a circle with stops in it. Um, oh man. Oh man, they're doing the replays of everybody going and looking at the Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Look at it, there it goes. Yes, it went over the fence. Everybody is so happy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.
so today you they're giving away gift cards uh, not to me though I am not a fan of gift cards and today's fan appreciation day I just I'm just not feeling it So, a uh, bunch of boats out there, cargo ships out there not being allowed to come in. Oh. Right now is a, there's a $87,000 jackpot. But nobody has been winning. How do you... So, you get a $500 deposit to unlock your season's tickets. But I don't, I don't know how much the actual season tickets are. You remember the pitcher? He's back. He's out there again. He's going to uh, throw the ball. It's 9-1. to one. The home team is winning. So that's good. You know, I wish uh, Jason Russell could be here. Sorry, I had to send the link to uh, my friend Jason Ressler. He's on a, either a, oh, it's Sunday, so he, he's probably on a boat. But not one of these boats. He's going to be on like a fishing boat, about eight foot long. Um, or he's going to be watching the game, um, at which point he isn't going to care about the text message I just sent him. You can see that. So now there's a guy in a grungy uh, uniform. He's coming out. And he's got, like, uh, Terminator sunglasses on. And the crowd does not like this guy. But again, small waist with a big bank. Small waist, pretty face with a big bank. This guy is a macho. He's a machado. And he is hitting the ball. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. He's doing some ballet. Totally thought he was going to hit it, man. With that swing, you would have thought he was going to hit it. So then this guy looks like Bob's big boy mixed with uh, Richie Cunningham. Oh, shit. Fat ass almost took a ball to his face. Is he even paying attention? I don't know. All I want for Christmas is 12 more wins. Is what somebody in the stands is saying. And I don't know if that's even possible. Because I thought this was like the last game. But everybody's really grouchy at this guy in the grungy outfit. Macha. Mr. Macha. Straight out the stairs, straight 
came down, and then I uh, and then I had to walk all the way back to the elevator to get back up. So, somebody is winning a PlayStation right now. I hope they go get it. And they got a video game pack. That's tight. Oh, man. Shout out to Jason Wrestler and Tony Watson. Wish you guys could be here, but... This is the expensive way to do it. And I didn't even have to pay for where I'm sitting. But I'm not going to spend any more money. I spent a third of my rent. <laughs> I'm going to pay rent late this month. So, uh, some footage, showing footages. Bunch of people getting food. People leaving this area to go get some food. I did that earlier, remember? What do we got? We got. Parker Posey, his brother, and who's hitting the ball right now is Willie, Willie Murr, and he's not hitting the ball at all, he's just, he's watching it go by right now, he's like, yeah, like, when they do that thing where they, like, swing the bat and they're like yeah throw it right here like if I was the pitcher I would never throw it there if I was if I wanted to win the game but who knows you know I don't know how these guys play who's paying for what you know if the dirty suit guys are supposed to be throwing the game they're doing a really good job of it it's like they almost have the same outfit on but like the one 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 guy's costume got like all it's like it got faded in the sun and it was all dirty it's like a homeless person wore it it's like that's what it is it's like the same outfit as the home team but if a homeless person wore it so it's all dingy and gray and like the letters are faded they're not orange anymore they're yellow oh man he hit it straight up in the air you already know how that goes it was caught so, it's still one to nine, but um, that guy has to jog all the way back to go sit in the dugout, which is just like a, a it's a, kind of like a barbecue pit, um, but without the top grill, you know what I mean? It's just like, everybody just sits where the coal goes, and nobody ever lights it. But that would probably make the game more interesting. It's like the, the losing team. Um, the grill gets burnt. You enjoying Jake? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So apparently there's a couple of Hispanics in the area because they just played a Mexican hat dance song for a second. Maybe somebody's celebrating some Mardi Gras or something. So, I don't know what any of those symbols mean. straight up in the air you know how that went caught it by the mullet guy 
Pretty much every time. Like if you're not gonna hit it outside the fence, don't even hit it straight up. If you don't have the power to get it outside of the green area and hit an audience member. So Parker Posey's brother or maybe a cousin. He's up. Huge ass. Like Parker Posey has a little tiny elbow ass. This guy, he's got like like woman bearing hips. His thighs are as big as his torso. Jeez, dude. I would say I would say like baseball players are like the second most obese the sports people I, I would guess that bowling people are fatter but I've seen bowling people they're like skinny like cool players oh he hit it straight up and it's caught good game good game this section of the game is over again um and it's nine to one still but I don't know. Let's see if So, so that little green box, is that where the, the scoreboard used to be? I don't think so. I think that's where they're just filming. They got a lot of like camera crew right there. Man, I wish I was born. Huh? I wish I was born. Should try it out sometime. Nah, seems overrated. Wait, 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 you take me to baseball game? Shut up. Oh, you've been on the whole time. <laughs> So, we got food. No, it is kind of actually like beans and cheese and not rando. That's what you think that you think that rice is good for you. Oh, I love carbs. Yeah, yeah. If I had your build, I would try to keep the carbs a coming, right? Bro, I really wish that I could. I damn way, but I seriously can't. I can drink. Oh, I can fat, help you. you know? I, if you want, I can no, teach you, bro. Actually, I don't want to now because it'll become water weight once I get old. So I'm over it. I was even talking to break about it. I'm like, no, I'm good with that. Really and heart attack and, you know, a, a coronary. Ma- major things. Yeah. <laughs> Cardiac <laughs> arrest. <laughs> Aneurysms. <laughs> Skip. You know, since it's rolling. That's all right. I have They're fun. Since it's rolling, you know. Keep it going. I've never had that presentation before. They've always just been... No, I've just, I've just been just really taking it in. You know, some of my friends wish that they could be here. And so I'm giving them a commentary that they could watch the game to. You know, they could be watching the game on mute well, and be listening to my version of the game, um, which is way better. I'm sure your audio anything. creates a, quite the visual. It just paints a perfect picture as if they were here. No, you know, dude, you know, Adam was just telling me in one of my songs that I'm getting better at storytelling. And I, and I thought, that's a serious compliment. From Bar Mantiums? Yeah. So it's still on schedule for next month. <laughs> Barn Mantiums. Yeah, Barn Mantelium. All the shippers out there, it's crazy. They apparently can't come in and been like docked for crazy long. LA and out here. 
they've been out there for like months almost at this point. They can't come into the port. Yeah. It's, they might have the... Uh, Why? The Rona. Just want to let you know you still got a little, uh, yeah, little musty, crusty bump <laughs> Is that why nobody will talk to me? <laughs> I just did like a big face lick. They don't have any. There's no water here, but they got this hot dog heater. Did I did I get it, Barnes? Those dudes are. Uh, yes, sir. Barnes and Noble. Yes, sir. You're good. You're rocking. You're rocking. So. So. Uh, <laughs> so it looks like one of the guys might have got hit in the nuts. He's walking. Hey, hey Grom. Piss off. Still second. There's a. So the so these guys in the grungy uniforms are up to bat now. If you don't eat that, you're gonna knock it off with your elbow. Everybody knows that's what happens to burritos. You eat them or you knock them around with your your elbow. There's no in between. So I'm gonna do some more interviews over here because uh, I noticed that. Um, Excuse me, I'm gonna slide back. Oh, so no, I'm not gonna slide it. So, you're back. You're back. so uh, we're sitting out here in the VIP section now, looking over the crowd. Oh, what? Oh, baseball! The crowd is not happy with the baseball that they're seeing on the on the screen in slow motion. Mike, tell us what they're seeing in slow motion right now that everybody's griping about. Well, Jay, it looks like the uh, runner going to second base uh, slightly came off the bag while the second baseman was still tagging him. Uh, there's quite a debate over this uh, play, and it's under review, and we'll get back to you shortly. Are those guys in the white uniforms going to beat up the guy in the grungy yellow uniform? Oh, circling him over there in the middle of the field right now. Uh, preferably, yes, I, I would like if they did. Yeah, but here, they got one of the grungy guys over here with a baseball bat, so that can't be safe. They call him the insurance policy, yeah. just in case things go down. Whoa, look at He's doing threatening swings. Yeah, it's offensive. You can tell. Oh, what, what happened? What happened? He, oh, he can walk. He can walk. Oh, he runs a little. Is that why we're cheering? Because the fat guy jogged? He hasn't done that in 47 years, Jay. <laughs> in years? That was a good jog walk. I can see why the crowd went so... Brisk walk. Uh, brisk, yes. Did you guys see the guy do the brisk walk? Everybody lost it right now. Oh, that was, there was a lot of tension in that organ song. A lot of buildup. Oh, oh. oh, they hit the ball. He caught the ball. He caught the ball and he, t- he touched his foot on the thing. And everybody liked that. So it's good. So if uh, so if the ball hits the, the glove over there, everybody gets pizza? Isn't that how it works? Uh, not officially, but they're working on that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if we get the pizza. Um... So apparently, this guy, he doesn't really, um, so I was saying, Mike, that, like, these guys' uniforms are pretty similar. It's almost hard to tell them apart, That's what I except said. for the one guys, they look more homeless because their orange is all faded to yellow and they're all yeah. grungy, like gray. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, the, it's like they had Giants uniforms. But right. then they just like were in the sun. It's actually old hand me down giant uniform. Yeah. From, uh, well, I have a white dog, and if I leave it outside all day, it turns gray and dingy like that other team. That sounds like there's a real smog problem down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he hit the ball. He's throwing it. Yeah. And that's the end of that section of the game. <laughs> So 
So, Dean, which section of the game was your favorite so far? My burrito eating. Mm. Fucking that up right now. Oh, 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 good. So, everybody's uh, recap. Piss off. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, DJ Bean's still enjoying his birthday. Dude, they're actually showing a guy on an organ right now. Land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her. Yeah, I can't imagine those black keys are feeling good right about now. Wiffle foam, wiffle foam. God bless America. Oh, up again, up again. We're doing God bless America. What inning are we on? Oh, this is the seventh inning? This is what we do for the seventh inning stretch now. Uh, oh, he's doing the epic dun 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 <laughs> He waved at me. I was wondering if he was going to even look at me. He looked right at me at the end. Right at the end. Oh, he's not... He started... He's playing another song for me. Oh, it's the classic. Here we go. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some burritos and 805s. I don't care if I get rashes and hives. Well, it's root, root, root for the white guys on the field in sweats. Does it's one, two. Okay. Oh, man. That last part was sang by Mike Ross, Ross the Rock. Remix by DJ Bean. Oh, he was pretending he was playing that for a second. Uh oh. What? Look at this. Look at this. Two people with masks on. Dorks. Ah, Cindy's son. Hey, hey, Mike, do you know when Mark... When does Mark play? Does Mark even play on this team anymore? Uh, no, no, right now. All right. He's getting out. Mark, right? Mark. Mark, yeah. Mark us. <laughs> this is Cindy's son, right? Yeah. Up right now? Yeah. Cindy's boy? Yeah, so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. No, you can really see it in the mullet. Oh, is it coming right at us? Oh, it's over there. Went on the green stuff. Threw it to the brown stuff. And they're going to just sit and they're going to talk in the middle of the brown circle. Oh, yeah. Man, you know, I thought I was sick of this song already, but they're going to really drive it home tonight. <laughs> Is it because we're, we're like astronauts on the ocean? Is that why they got to play that so many times? Are you in the ocean in the So, he's got his elbow up. Grungy guy throws it. Oh, right in the pocket. The other grungy guy, he's looking around. Mullet grungy guy, he's looking over at the guy in the pearly whites. He's like, what are you doing? Stay on the bag. I'm throwing it to the... Oh, this guy. It's not even baseball anymore. It's just catch at this point. You guys are playing catch. They're playing keep away with the ball. Hey, didn't a, a chick just fall off of, like, the top tier at the San Diego game, like, last weekend? You know what they say about San Diego. 
No one really knows what it means. <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> so here he goes. Grungy guy's wobbling on his heels. He's got his elbow up. He throws the ball. Boom, he hits it. It goes right out into the green area. Now there are two pearly white guys. Grungy guys are not moving any faster. Grungy guys are way behind on the score, and they are not trying to hurry up at all. So this is... um, There's a bunch of people sitting around watching the game. Some people that are um, looking at me because I'm looking at them. Oh, this guy, he hits the ball. It's going over the fence? No. Right to the edge of the fence. Oh, these guys can't pick up the ball for shit. They throw it inside. This other guy, he catches it over in the dirt area. In the meantime, almost all the pearly white guys made it in. The score is now... 11 to 1. And if you had dyslexia, you'd think it was tied. Right at the 400 feet line. That was amazing. And so... Oh, I hit it right in the crevice. They were never going to be able to catch that. Look at that. Oh, they're not going to play it again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. How are you going to get your glove in there before it hits the ground, you know? Come on. You'd be better off trying to play hacky sack with it. All right, so who we got up? We got Evan. Evan. Oh, Eva's boy. Eva's little boy with the big ears. Hey, you know one thing I also noticed? Check out the hips on these kids. Uh, are they just, like, eating nothing but chicken? Like, what the hell's wrong with them? Uh, you know, the hips don't lie. They got these little tiny... They got these little upper bodies and then these big asses. Why did you, bro? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, look at those foghorn leghorn legs of that guy. Oh, man. Come on, bro. Grease your mullet later. Yeah, it's that guy with the mullet. No, is it or is it not? Hey, it, it is it? Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see the maneuvers. They all just want your hair. I know, that, that Rona hair. Wait, if he's there, how is he here? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baseball. Hit the baseball. So we got a guy on second, we got nobody on first and third, and the guy in the grungy suit is thinking about throwing the ball. Here he goes, he's contemplating it, he's looking back at the other guy, he's like, dude, I'm throwing the ball. Oh, so much build up. Hell yeah! I think Michael Jackson just got here. People are going crazy. Oh, it's oh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's Richie Cunningham. You know this guy? He throws the ball also. Richie, I've heard of yeah, this guy. He's a he's a Bob's Big Boy lookalike. This guy, he throws the ball and he hits the ball. And earlier, after he threw the ball and everybody liked that yeah, a lot, he then he hit the ball. No, no, watch this guy. When he if he hits the ball, Jay, you'll see. Jay. That's ball tested. Watch this. Uh, here he goes. Dude, that was 90 miles an hour. You can't hit yeah, that. Did you see the drop down? Right here. Oh, bro. there it is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm paying attention. <laughs> bro, who invited that sounded, you? That sounded so weird. What did you break? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, you just back. killed a squirrel. That sounded crazy. Uh, 72 miles an hour. He totally could have hit that one. But you know, he's only got one hour left, bro. You can see it right there on the scorecard. 
He doesn't even average a hole. He averages a point one three. Oh man. So I think it's crazy. That guy only has one hour, but some of the other guys have like twenty five hours. <laughs> Okay, so Tommy, he's got seven hours left. Tommy's going to hit it. I don't know. I'm getting this urge to yell for Tommy. Oh, come on, Tommy. Maybe Tommy's hat's on tight today. I don't know. Tommy averages a, a point two. Alcohol content, point two five one. Okay, so today we've got um, Seattle and Toronto are a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, there goes the ball. They hit it straight up. It's coming right at me. It's coming right at me. Uh, I, you know what? I bet any other game that would have that would have psyched him out from the box. I bet any other game. Oh man! So I guess we're done making points. So everybody's gonna go back in the box now, and they're gonna line up to hit the ball. Those same guys that were catching the ball are going to line up to hit the ball. So. We are at the eighth section of this game. It's 11 to 1, and um, this guy, they really like, look at his gut, he's got it in the sand. Shout out to DJ Bean. Hey Bean, I gotta go uh, collect my winnings. I just got a 16 person uh, giant sweep. Good job. Yeah, I just won that, so Good job. I'm gonna go collect that. Well let hey, me happy know birthday, dude. Ma um, make sure I'm in that sixteen, alright? And make sure you wear your space time continuum shirt. I am. Or die 
inside. A higher more, another hope, another dimension. The truth's been known since 2018. Don't set a limit to your speed or momentum. A consequence. requires your attention the particular equation of the physical energy is a spatial momentum higher form another hope another dimension Happy 52nd birthday to DJ Bean, and um, we'll uh, looking forward to see who wins in the next two sections of this game. He's running. He's running. Oh no. Well. <laughs> This is an exciting game. You guys uh, stay safe. And see you next time.